Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boss, and right now we're gonna be going over how to update your Katana Mark II in Mac OS X. So let's do it, yeah. A couple things you're gonna need for your process. First, you're gonna need your Katana Mark II. That one's pretty obvious. The next thing you're gonna need is your laptop and then the power cord and the USB-A to USB-B cable to plug into your Katana and your computer. Sweet, you got everything. Next, what you're gonna wanna do after that, you're gonna wanna set your Katana Mark II into update mode. In order to do this, first we wanna turn the volume down on the master all the way to zero. Next, we wanna take the channel one and panel buttons and push them simultaneously while we turn on the amp. This will get it into update mode and you'll see red flashing lights. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your USB-B to USB-A cable, you're gonna take the B end and plug it into your Katana, and then you're gonna take the A end and plug it into your computer. Now, when you go into your Mac, it should come up as a thumb drive on your desktop. You're gonna wanna go to the boss.info website and go to the Katana Mark II uh, webpage. I am doing this on a uh, 100 watt Mark II. Uh, it would be the same process if you were doing it for a 50 ahead or a 212. Next, we wanna go to the downloads tab. We wanna make sure that we get the firmware upgrade. Here's just a list of instructions and things that we did with the upgrade to make sure that you are up to date with the firmware. Scroll all the way to the bottom, acknowledge and accept, and then click your download. After your download is complete, open up the zip file. After you've opened up the zip file, open up the folder, and then take the bin file and the text file, click and drag it into the Katana thumb drive. After that's done, click eject on the Katana section and pull the cable from your computer. Going back to the Katana, the upgrade is now inside the Katana, ready to be launched. After you've unplugged it from your computer, go ahead and press the blinking panel button, and this will do a series of light dances while it goes into updating. Don't turn off your amplifier during this process or touch the amplifier. Let it do its thing. It only takes a couple of seconds. After it is done, you'll see the effects lights blink green. And after this process, you're okay to turn off the power of your katana and then turn it right back on. After I update my katana, I always like to do a little factory reset to make sure that any bugs are worked out in the system. In order to do this, you simply press and hold the panel button for a couple of seconds while you turn on the power. The lights will do a little dance. And then after a while, the katana will stop blinking lights and you are ready to play and factory reset is initiated. All right, guys, and that is pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching again. My name is Austin from Boss. Click subscribe to see more. Like if you like the video. Comment if you have any questions. And uh, thanks a lot. All right, take care. See ya.